There's a moon. Say hello, everybody. There's a moon. Hello, everybody. Come here. Hello. Come here. Sure. Come here. Sure. Look at the jumper. Hello, room. It's um, it's Thursday today. Um, Matthew has got school today. George hasn't. George started his half term today. He's got two weeks off, roughly, I think, all but a day. Um, I think he goes back on the Wednesday, like in two weeks' time. Um, Matthew has got today and tomorrow in school. Um, the only reason for the difference in the half term normally is because George has an extra week. No, a, a week less in the summer holidays in normal circumstances. Obviously, the pandemic caused a bit of a mess with the way all the break worked this summer. Um, but yeah, so they normally squeeze an extra day or two out during all the half terms so that he can have a week less in the summer of summer leave. So that's why George is off. Um, we've had our room finished. Well, 99% finished. I've literally got to put a curtain rail up and a net curtain up. That's it. Um, but we'll show you that when Amy gets back because I'd rather her show you what we've done and what she's done herself. 95% of it she's done herself. We've had some help from... Um, Sarah and Matt and Sarah's dad who's done the plastering of the walls um, and Matt with a broken ankle has helped Amy do like a little bit of painting lying down doing the gloss in and stuff like that um, because he broke his leg and can't go to work so he's come and helped just do a little bit sit, sat down and stuff I think um, when I was at work um, which was really helpful and we're grateful for them for doing that um, so we've had a new bed um, we've papered the one wall which I helped Amy a bit with, literally just measuring it up, get, uh, she pasted it, I put it up onto the wall and into place and then she cut it all herself. She's more accurate than me, um, the last time I did it, in the living room I cut like a couple where it was like a little bit short or a little bit long, um, so I said to her why don't you give it a go, it's, it's a learning experience, so she's done. she has done it before years ago. Um, she's always helped me, but I've always done the cutting, but I said to her, why don't you give it a go? And she did a great job of it, so we'll show you that when she gets back. She's just taking Matthew to school. Like I said, he's got two days of school, and then she's going to shopping to get a bit of food because we're a bit low on food, and we haven't had a chance to go food shopping because we've been doing all this decorating and stuff while they've been in bed, and it's been hard, which is why we haven't done many videos. So I do apologise, and thanks for the... Um, 480 subscribers now we're only 20 off 500 so i think we're nearly there the goal was to try to get 500 by the time it comes to new year and i think we're on course for that hopefully i only need another 20 to go but more importantly we appreciate the the 480 that regularly watch videos um and leave comments it'd be great if more of you would leave comments i'd love to hear some of your opinions on what we're doing um whether you think we could do more things better anything to do with autism that you've noticed that you think you could tell us that might help us um you know a bit of back and to um back and to and back and fro conversation and um, to help each other because that's what the channel's about to try to help other autistic families autism families basically on the spectrum and how you deal with your daily lives because we are not perfect we don't know all the answers we've got two kids that are on the spectrum as you know um, and they're at miles to the different end. George is pretty much non-verbal, apart from echolalia and his talking of what he's watching pretty much all the time. Yeah, she'll be back in a minute. She's just taking Matthew to school and she's going to be back. He doesn't like it when she's not here. Um, I've got to then probably spend a couple of hours getting rid of all the old carpet and all the old boxes from the new bed when she's back. So that's going to take me the best part of today. He's already went to go outside, it's soaking wet out there, so he's going to have to wait until later till I can dry it out, uh, dry it out, pick up the leaves and stuff anyway. But yeah, that's what we're doing at the moment. So hopefully by the time I turn the camera on next, it'll be Amy showing you the bedroom. So George has um, decided to get his ninky nonk out. So I'm guessing that's what he's going to be doing today. I think he's gone up there now to look for Maca Paca and Upsy Daisy he's got. Um, what's the one called? Ego Pigo, that's it. He's up there pulling out his boxes, so I think that's what he's doing. But look, look at this Ninky Donk, it's pretty cool. 
It's got all the, it's just like a pillow long. So he's gone up to, here he comes, I think. Here he comes, let's we'll see what he's got. Oh, well done. Show me. So what he's got is he's went and picked up the small one. Ah, oh, you're looking for the other piece of the ninky nonk. This is the small ninky nonk. Where's the ninky nonk? All right, we'll find it. Oh, there's what one's this? No, gently. Look, listen. No, look, it goes up. Ninky nonk. Yeah. All right. And there's Macapaka, Upsy Daisy. Look pickle, for the other pickle, part. Pickle, pickle, pickle. Let me just help him find the other pickle. parts. One second. Pickle. Oh, that's a ninky nunk. Little ninky nunk. Whoa. Whoa. He's got a little ninky. pizza. Middle of a pizza thing. Ninky nunk. What's this one? What's this one called? <laughs> that one? What's that one? What are they called? Mummy. This will be back in a minute. Well, oh, careful. Well, careful. Well, oh, then. all right, I'll get it, I'll get it. Uh -oh. All right. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay, then. Know. Try it again. Uh, gently, just go gently. I'm just going to stick them together, look, they're just little hooked together. <laughs> Yay! Wow. So that's his mini Ninky Nong. He's got the big one out and he's got the mini one out. So he's probably, he's probably just gonna, I'm just coming out the next time. I don't know why that light does that. Does anyone know why? That, um, what are they called? What are those lights called? Um, not a UV light, what is it? Um, I think the bulb's called now. Hey! See, this is what he does when one of us are out. Come here. Come up. She'll be back in a minute, George. And look at all the repair work on the wall that Amy's been doing. Hey! 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 Sorry, Daddy. Sit by the table then. Good boy. Well done. See that? That frustration there, he hits the door or the window, that's what he does, why all of our doors are broken, because um, he'll kick them. And that's just because she's out taking Matthew. And when I'm taking all the stuff to the tip later, Mommy. that's what he'll be doing, asking for me when I'm not here. So it's a no-win situation. Anyway, that's part of life. We just have to try to prevent it. Preventative measures keep his mind busy and try to occupy his mind of what he's asking for. Sometimes to stop him being like that. But anyway, I'm gonna go and spend a bit of time playing with him. Um, we'll see. As I said before, when Amy gets back, hopefully we'll see the bedroom. So the idea was to go to the tip today, but the council have sent the people to do the tree out the back after about five years. So George, what are they doing? What? What are they doing? They're cutting the tree. Cutting the tree. Why is there with yellows? I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. See the guy up in the tree? The tree? He's on the little platform. And they're cutting Baby. all that down. I don't know how much of that you can see, but basically this tree in the back lane behind the house has been, it's been there for, well, since we've lived here, obviously it's been there for longer than that but it's like dwarfing our houses over the top of our house now. And they've been saying for months they're gonna come and do it. I even got onto the local councillor who said he'd get it done in the next couple of months. And that was about three months ago. So to be fair, whether he's had any influence on it, I don't know, but you can see look how much all these branches are overhanging, but apparently it's gonna be stubs afterwards. So we're gonna have a lot more light. The only danger is now, this back hedgerow isn't that high 
So hopefully we leave all the brambles on it, the brambles, the ivy on it, to stop him from climbing over the back. And the only other danger now, where he throws things over the fence is, obviously if it goes over the back, it's going to end in the lane. So me and George are just going to watch this guy working. Can you see him up in the tree? He's on this little blue platform. What's he doing, George? Tree. Cut in the tree. Cut in the tree. So I think that's on hold the taking stuff to the tip at least for now. Good day. Soon that top won't be visible. We'll see. Daddy. Hey, use your stick. Go out. There he goes. Go then. Whoa! Again? Again? One more day of school left. Yay! Oh, careful, it doesn't break. It doesn't break. Okay, good, careful. Bounce. Bounce. George, look. Show, show us again. George. Show him. Judge. Show him. Bouncy. Go on. Bouncy. Bouncy. Oh, be Bouncy. careful. Bouncy. Bouncy. So, we decided to just pop out to the moors just for half an hour because George has been in all day watching the guys cut the tree. So, we thought we'd get him out and get him a McDonald's because he's been good. Um, so we thought we'd just get him out for half hour, bit of fresh air. I've been stuck in with him all day. Careful, go careful, go careful. You don't fall. Yeah, we go careful then. You have to go careful. It's slippy, mouth. Let him get down first. Yeah. So we just thought we'd get him out. George has been pretty good. He's. I thought it'd be a problem. I thought it'd be a problem with him indoor all day because of the tree getting cut. But he was actually all right. Is it too bad? Show us. Let's see if Amy can throw this ball catapult thing she's bought. Yeah, so in all, it's been a not bad first day off for George. Um, Matthew had school. They're right behind me. Matthew had school, so he had a good day. And she's thrown it out of her way. Let's see if she can throw it. Hang on. Let's go over and see how far she can throw it. Come then, let's see how far you can go. Right, hang on. Wait, let me get behind you because I'm going to lose it else. Ready, Winnie? Come then. Not bad for a lefty. Is she gonna lose it? No, she's got it. See, that's a good thing because in the field behind us, the grass is getting longer. Yeah. So she loses it. It doesn't, quick. and it doesn't bounce, Winnie. Good girl. Drop it. Drop it. Good girl. Let me try it. Let me have a go. <laughs> I didn't do it right. Don't worry. Can't all be perfect. We can't. But yeah. And she brings it back most of the time. At least she gets it halfway back. But yeah. So, been quite a good day, really. I haven't got any of the stuff done to the tip, though, like I was wanting to do. Because, obviously, George was in the house. I couldn't let him in the garden. I couldn't really get him out because, obviously, the tree bits were dropping down everywhere. But anyway, he's just having some fun climbing now. Climbing? Oh, careful. Help what? What? Where's Woody? Oh, there's Woody. What are you climbing? Go careful. You like climbing, don't you? Go careful. Go careful. Where are you trying to climb? Where are you trying to go? Hi. All right. Okay. All right. Go careful. 
Careful. Ooh, sit down there. Yeah. Right, hold on tight. Hold on tight. What are you doing? Careful you don't fall. Careful you don't fall. I'm a little bit cautious of him because of the leg break that he had last Christmas. You right? What are you doing? You're going to get a sandwich today? McDonald's? I think he just wants to go higher, but he can't go much higher. Not unless I'm up the room. You're high up? High? Yeah? Be careful. Right, I'm going to have to go because I've got to watch him before he falls out this tree. And we're going to just pop to McDonald's on the way back to get him tea. Because he's literally been stuck in all day. I'm going to see if he's having a cook. And we'll catch you back. I still haven't showed you the room. I'll get in the when we get back. <laughs> Is it again? Well done. The hand. Or well, your F and D twitchy. Well, go see. He won't last long in here anyway. Last time I took him here, he was here 10 minutes, then went in to go again. I promised that we'd show you the decorating. I've worked hard on this room. We'll show you your most proudest part. The wallpaper. So Amy did, I would say 95% of the wallpaper. I literally just put it on the wall for you to then cut and stuff like that. So, I love it. I love it. new bed. Where did you get the bed from? Dream was in the sale. Um, it's a storage bed. And then the walls are, I don't know what colour they were, pewter? Look how much room's in the bed. Yeah, we haven't had it. So it's just got like a strap. We haven't showed the boys this, obviously. So basically, you can just put stuff underneath rather than drawers. She's a bit tight pushing it back down, but it's all right. So, how much was the bed? 300 quid? Three, some, I can't remember exactly. Three, nine, nine, maybe, I don't know. So we've had the carpet done, which, can I see? I I it's, it's, a it's evening now, so we can't really see that well. But we've got the new, the new wallpaper. Why is everything new? Just go for it quickly. Okay, so had the walls plastered. So these grey walls. New light fitting. New bed. New wallpaper. New pillows and bedding and everything. Our and wardrobes. And our wardrobes were already good. Touch of wood. We just jinx stuff. Another solid oak. They're never going to break. Oh, and new storage boxes for the top. Um, yeah. Cool. And I thought I'd show you the tree. It's no longer there. So how much more light is going to come in here? My only concern is this hedgerow is now easier for George to get out. Look how much more light it is. Normally we had the huge tree up here like the size of that one above our house. And there's the stumps of it there, it's gone. EP, providing George doesn't try climbing this hedgerow. So that's about it for today. Me and Amy are just sitting down to our dinner. Amy's got a more healthy, am I showing that right? Mm -hmm. A lasagna with salad, Amy's had a shower. I'm gonna have my dinner then have a bath. Um, as you saw, we took the boys out in the malls just for um, just a run around, really. More for George's sake, because he was stuck in all day because of the tree being cut, um, which I showed you, which is a massive improvement. I think it's going to take a bit of getting used to because we were quite enclosed. Mm. So yeah. it's going to take it's going to take a little bit of a while, isn't it? To, yeah, definitely. Like It feels a little bit more like we're a bit open, mm. even though there's a 10-foot drop the other side. He doesn't know that, though. No, but he, no, I don't mean him. I mean, like, it just feels like people could look in even though they can't. Mm. Do you know what I mean? 
So yeah, the the trees we've been on about getting that tree cut for about five or six years. We've been on to the council, I think. Um, and I got hold of the what was it the, the local councillor, and he said he was, and he cc'd me in an email that he sent to the mayor, saying it needs to be sorted. Which it did because it was like obliterating our garden and our house on the roof with leaves and branches and. You need to email him and say thank you. Yeah, I will do. But um, so that's done. We stopped off on the way back and got them a happy meal. Well, Matthew had a happy meal and George had two hamburgers and they had a McFlurry because they're not doing the ice creams. I don't know why. What difference is it between? Is it the same ice cream and a McFlurry to a thing? Mhm. Mm so it's the same ice cream, yet they can give them in a McFlurry tub, which the boys are not really used to. We don't normally get them that. We normally just get the little tiny they ice cream it if they don't. Yeah, they did eat it, in fairness. I mean, it's the same ice cream, but I thought they wouldn't eat it. But yeah, so that's it. That's today done. I'm going to have my lasagna. And me and Amy are going to put a film on. Um, I'm at work tomorrow, so Amy will be at home with George. Matthew's got his last day of school. One of Amy's friends is taking Matthew to school and picking him up. Unless something changes with that, so hopefully, so Amy hasn't got to take George to the school and then bring him home, which he wouldn't understand. So that helps us out for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, and he's been alright, George, to it today, to be honest, considering the tree thing. Yeah. Because he really wanted to go out there all day and was saying, outside, outside, outside. Yeah, but then as soon as he did go out there, I said, after they'd gone, I thought, right, okay, I'll let him go out and have a look. And then. He walked straight round the side and chucked Woody over the fence. Mm. So why do you do that? And the, the other problem is because he throws things over the fence, if he now throws it over the back, it's going into a lane which is about 10 to 12 foot drop. So And we can't get to that quickly. It's not like we can quickly go out the front door, lock the front door, leave him inside and get it, which takes 20 seconds. This is like walking around the block. You can't really do it. So I don't know. We'll just see how that goes, but I'm not going to complain about the tree being gone because it's it's been needed to be gone for ages. But anyway, that's it for now. Hopefully, um, you didn't think that we'd disappeared because we haven't been doing very many videos recently. But it is half time now, so hopefully, Amy can get some day vlogs done when I'm at work, especially mm -hmm. to show you what she's doing during the day with them. Um, whether or not that'll be tomorrow or not, I don't know. Maybe Saturday when Matthew's off as well, possibly. Um, and then obviously we've got a couple of weeks of half time so we'll get some videos in of us doing some stuff hopefully um, and we're not under any restrictions compared to anyone else in the country really so I think there's no you're not allowed in each of us houses of six mm. I think that's it there's nothing shut down here anyway not like in Manchester and Liverpool and places like that and North, North East and stuff but anyway we'll leave it there for now and hope you're all well and um, don't forget to congratulate Amy for her great decorating skills <laughs> in the bedroom because she did like 90% of it and we'll catch you all again soon. Thanks for watching.